everybody, welcome back. Hope you're having a great Labor Day. Uh, today is Labor Day right now. We did our Labor Day festivities over the weekend, and uh, so today is a beautiful day, and it's time to make more room. Um, these bins are getting full, and I've got more wood coming in, as you saw. So the process is I lay down a weed block once I get this all cleaned out, and then uh, I put in this large aggregate crushed concrete, and that uh, creates a good base on the sloppy mud. And then on top of that, nice smooth layer of uh, small 2A limestone, and uh, or maybe maybe number three, uh, whatever driveway gravel is. They call it a bunch of different things anyway. Uh, I think it's called number 27 or 57 or I don't know. But anyway, so I'll gravel this whole area and build another bin. I should give a little credit where credit's due. That idea for building these bins came from Chris from In the Woodyard. If you look at his YouTube channel, In the Woodyard, he uh, has great ideas. He also gave me the idea of uh, this, putting a zip tie on your chainsaw, a little red tape on the end. And uh, if you can see that, that allows you to measure as you're cutting so all your uh, firewood turns out the same length. So he's got a lot of great ideas and uh, that's, that's how you learn. You watch the other YouTube channels, watch what other guys are doing. They've been doing it for a long time. Come up with better ideas. Maybe I can give you guys some ideas as I go along here. But anyway, I'm gonna get to work to start clearing this out and get it ready for gravel. Yeah, so you may be wondering why I did all that by hand. I could have just taken the grapple, gone in there and drug it all out. Uh, that would be great. I would love to do that, and I thought about it, but this is really, really soupy. Walking in it, my feet are getting pretty, uh, not stuck, but they're sinking a little bit. But the tractor would definitely get, uh, not stuck, but it would, uh, it's just, it wasn't that big of a deal. So what it is, cut it all up, and I made a big pile over here. And now I will go get the grapple and I will pull this to my brush pile. Next. That's pretty good. I think weed block ought to cover the rest of that stuff. And uh, after I get the weed block down, put the gravel down, I'm gonna have to build another panel of fence. That'll be good. One more panel, I got the line up there to know where to put the next post. This would be nice. Give me some more room, stack some more wood. Catch you next time. What will it be? When's Tuesday? Today, today's Monday, so I'll see you tomorrow, Tuesday. All right, I know I said that I was done for the day. And by the way, this isn't a different day. I just go through a lot of shirts. Um, anyway, I'm too excited to go ahead and dig this next post hole for this fence, get that down. And then when the gravel goes in, I'll be able to stand on the gravel and not in the mud and put up the uh, pickets for the fence. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that post set. It'll dry overnight and I'll be ready tomorrow. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get my first eight foot two by four. I'm gonna put it right up against the last post. Line it up with the string as best I can. That's pretty good. You can just eyeball it. This doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Looks like I'm digging right there. Then uh, I'd start with a shovel. I like to dig the top out first because that's what's going to have roots and uh, 
all kinds of nasty in it. And the post hole digger doesn't like to go through that stuff. So just start a good size hole here. Right about at the end of that two by four, try and keep the center of the post where it's supposed to go at the end of the two by four. And once you have a chunk there, two by four out of the way, finish digging out that chunk. Oh, there's a root, see? There we go. Get that out, throw it to the side. Most important thing to do is to make sure the center of that hole is where it needs to be at the end of that two by four because the two by four is going in between the posts. So, all right, that got down uh, through the topsoil and most of the roots. Roots don't go very deep, usually good with just the end of the shovel once you get down to the clay. So uh, I have a power hook, post hole digger, but I'm just digging this one post. No sense in getting it out. This is my dad's post hole digger. It is so simple and it works so well. It's not one of those that you jam in the ground and then pinch the dirt and pull it out. I don't like those at all compared to this. You just turn this in circles and it pulls the dirt right out. Let me show you. You just keep the handle of your uh, post hole digger there right next to that two by four. And you know where you're supposed to go. So it keeps you pretty well lined up. And you just keep going deeper. Another pro tip is put a piece of tape right here so you know how deep you need to go. Stop right there and you're done. All right, now it's time to put the post in the hole. Once again, you leave the two by four sitting there because those two by fours are gonna go just like the other ones, right in between the posts. Now I gotta get my little level. You haven't seen one of these before. If you haven't seen one of these before, you probably don't do this. <laughs> You're probably not a do-it-yourselfer. These are very common. You just strap it to the post and it gives you level and plumb. All right, so there is so much groundwater that I am certain I can put this concrete in there dry, get it plumb and leave it and overnight it will be saturated. So some people say, oh no, you gotta mix it in the, in the wheelbarrow ahead of time. Not, not here in Northeast Ohio, not after the rain we've had, it's gonna be just fine. So I'm gonna put it in dry, I'm gonna get that post plumb and uh, I'm gonna see what it's like in the morning. Again. What happened is it helps to have somebody holding the post so you know it's still plumb. I put half a bag of concrete in there and it wasn't straight, it wasn't plumb. So this time, let me make sure I have it plumb like that, both ways. Before I put any concrete in, I can just push this in now. Stuff that I scooped out. Gotta get out in there that it stays. So 
It's going to be close enough right there and close enough right there. Now, shovel with the other hand and put it on this side. Make sure it doesn't go anywhere. good all right let's move that around pack it in there a little all right now it's tuesday just dropped kaylin off at school the poor little girl she's crying oh well gotta rip that band-aid off drop her off and she'll be happy when i pick her up she's probably happy now anyway going to get that crushed concrete and uh then go get a load of gravel for the concrete now. Let's go get a load of gravel. Well, looks like that's about all I'm going to get done for today. It's about time to go pick up the little bean head. It's uh, a lot better than it was. Man, is that soupy. It is so squishy. It's just it's just eating up that rock. Uh, but this is the big stuff, and then I'll put that uh, gravel down on top of it. Probably do that tomorrow morning. So I guess I'll see you then. Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Uh, Kaylin is with her therapist, and um, we are I backed the car back here. I have enough room now. I was actually able to back my car back here with full of tools. So we're going to put up this next fence panel. Uh, the old man's here. He's going to get off his butt again and <laughs> help me uh, help me put up and hold these things in place. And uh, we'll show you how we do that right now.
there it is another fence panel another eight feet of uh available space to stack more wood so now we have to build another bin and i'll show you how we do that it's it's super easy And that's about it. 16 feet long, four feet wide, stacking four feet high. I give you a cord and a third. That's what each bin holds. And they're pretty good. It's uh, not bad. Keeps your pile from falling over. So I guess we ought to fill it next. <laughs> I guess that's the next thing to do. Back at it. Okay, it's Thursday, Kalen's last day of school for the week, and I have to get this cleaned up. Now that I've got space in the wood yard, I gotta get it out of the driveway. Tractor time. Pretty much does that. It's about as clean as a gravel driveway gets. A little bit of raking to do here and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's good. Now I have to clean up brush. We accumulate a lot of brush on our three acres, especially when clearing land. And this big old pile here has accumulated over time. And uh, I'm going to just load it in the trailer. We take it to the recycling center. I know I could burn it, but uh, we're running out of room to burn stuff. And the clearing that we do have is nice in its yard. So I'm going to take it to the recycling center and just dump it. I'd say wow. I am once again very impressed with this dump trailer. I fit all that brush in there. I mean it's mounted up but it's not a heavy load. I just need to strap it down, take it to the dump and uh, get rid of it. That's gonna be fantastic. It's not a dump really. It's a recycling center. They turn it, turn it into uh, mulch and wood chips and whatnot. So anyway, uh, that's gonna be it for today. I think that's enough. Yeah, good cleanup day. All right, see you tomorrow. Well, I'd say that's enough for this week. I got plenty done. I got the lawn mowed this morning, but didn't need to show you that. This video is getting long anyway, so I'm just going to hang out with the little bean head the rest of the evening and afternoon, and uh, I'll catch you next time when I'm doing more stuff.